somebody praise the Lord? Can somebody shout hallelujah? Can somebody praise the Lord? Can somebody give him a clap? Give him a clap, give him a clap, give him a clap. Come on, clap your hands, your hands, your hands. Just clap your hands for the Lord. He is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. While you are standing, turn your Bibles with me, praise God, to Luke 13, praise the Lord. Luke chapter 13, praise God, hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Before I go any further, I'm just going to ask her dear Sister Karen, to just read a short word of prayer for the service. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. The blue mic. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, you are worthy this morning, mighty God. Come on, and as guys. we come, mighty Hallelujah. God, we just call upon the name of Jesus Hallelujah. Christ of Nazareth, the name that is above all name, mighty God. Hallelujah. And I have to, mighty God, to touch our woman servant right now, mighty God. Mighty God, a double portion of your anointing, mighty God, that when she speak, mighty God, oh God Almighty, souls will be saved, mighty God. Oh God, people will, eyes will be open, mighty God. Oh God, that we get a revelation about your Father. Oh God Almighty, in this time, mighty God, we call upon your name, mighty God, because we know, Lord God, in this time, Hallelujah. we need your Father. We need Hallelujah. you more than ever, mighty Hallelujah. God. Bless, mighty God, all who are watching over every platform, mighty God. Everyone that are watching, mighty God. Hallelujah. Mighty God, help them to feel your presence. Help them to understand who you are this morning, mighty God. God, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. let your will be done in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Deaconess Powell, could you just come and read this passage of scripture? We're going to be reading, praise God, Luke 13 from verses 10. Praise God from verses 10. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. From verses 10, praise God. Hallelujah. To 17. Luke 13, verses 10 to 17. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. The scripture reading is taken from Luke 13, reading from verse 10 to verse 17, and it reads thus. Now he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath, and behold, there was a woman who had a spirit of infirmity 18 years, and was bent over and put in no way raised herself up but when jesus saw her he called her he called her to him and said to her woman you are loose from your infirmity and he laid his hands on her and immediately she was made straight and glorified god but the ruler of the synagogue answered with indignation because Jesus had healed on the Sabbath. And he said to the crowd, there are six days on which men ought to work. Therefore, come and be healed on them and not on the Sabbath day. The Lord said, the Lord then answered him and said, hypocrite, does not each of you on the Sabbath day lose his ox or donkey from the stall and lead it away to water it. So ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound, think of it for 18 years, be loosed from his bond on the Sabbath. 17 and last. And when he said these things, all his adversaries were put to shame, and all the multitude rejoiced for all the glorious things that were done by him. We honor God's word by saying, Thanks be to God. Amen. You may be seated for a few minutes. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I want to take this opportunity on behalf of Bishop Leroy Fagan, our psalmist, who is, praise God, still on the mission field. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Our assistant pastor, missionary Georgia Brary, who is 
out there at the other branch storming up the place at this time. Can we clap our hands for them? Praise the Lord. Over there in them, Clarendon. And for those of you who are faithful followers, I want to say God bless you. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for tuning in. Praise the Lord. A word is coming. Amen. Direct. I wish I had a witness in here. Direct from the throne of God. Amen. A word is coming for somebody. This is what we consider and what we commemorate and celebrate Amen. as Resurrection yeah. Sunday. Oh, today something is about to happen for somebody. Something is about to resurrect for somebody and it might be you right there praise the lord glory be to god hallelujah glory be to god hallelujah for those of you on the television those of you on youtube subscribe to my channel hit the gray bell and get notified those of you on facebook live and offline praise god go ahead and follow praise god and like praise god my pages praise the lord God is getting ready to do something. Ah, praise God. I know that the enemy is like a roaring lion. Seeking whom he may devour. Oh, but the light of Jesus has been shed abroad in our hearts. Praise God. Hallelujah. And because of this light, praise God, we will walk in the light of Jesus Christ. Can somebody give him a praise of praise in here? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Can I get somebody that understands what I'm going, where I'm going? Hallelujah. Praise God. Don't be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. We just read that passage of scripture, praise God, in Luke 13, praise God, and I do believe in my heart that God has given me a word for somebody, somebody say amen, amen. somebody say amen. amen, somebody say amen, amen. I say somebody say amen. amen, come on, somebody need to show liberation time, no, somebody need to show liberation time. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. I believe that today somebody shall be free from something. Praise the Lord. God is getting ready to lose somebody. Praise God. Let me say that again for somebody who has been down and discouraged and ostracized. You're hurting. Praise God. You, you just feel as if it doesn't make sense to live any longer. Let me talk to you right there. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. God is about to loose you from that bondage. God is about to loose you. Praise God from that situation. God is about to loose you from that predicament. God is about to loose you from that abusive relationship verbal abuse physical abuse emotional abuse put down abuse come on somebody God is getting ready to lose you in the name of Jesus hallelujah praise praise the Lord glory be to God Somebody shout freedom. freedom. Oh, you all sound like you Somebody shout freedom. freedom. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today, praise God, somebody will be free from something. Prophesy to you right there. Somebody, I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying, There is somebody that has been praying and saying, Lord, when will this be over? When will this all end? I'm tired. I'm tired, Lord. I'm tired. Today is your day. 
I wish that somebody that was ready for the word today is your day. Praise God. Today is your day. Can somebody shout, today is my day. Oh, some of you are saying it like in a confident. Can somebody say, today is my day. Now you got to get personal. Because maybe the person beside you don't want to praise God. Maybe the person beside you don't need God to do anything for them. But can somebody that needs help from God say, today with all you got is my day. Oh my God, oh my God. Come on brothers, come on, come on, come on. Oh my God, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. you to know Jesus was the only one who knew that woman in Luke 13. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I said Jesus was the only one who knew the woman in Luke 13. As a matter of fact, he was willing to touch her. Somebody say touch her no man. I say he was willing to touch her and heal her. Praise God. How many of you know that yes, they crucified Jesus. Yes, they buried him. But no grave. My God, if I could just get, I know that somebody's on here with me. No grave could hold his body down. Oh my God. Hallelujah. On the third day, praise God, they went to the tomb to look for him. Praise God, but the stone was rolled away. And Mary was there looking in the tomb. She had come to ask for the body of Jesus because they did not believe that he had the power to lay down his life, my God, and have the power to take it back up. And so Jesus is alive and well. I don't know about you, but I come to celebrate Jesus. I said I come to celebrate Jesus. He's alive and well. Can somebody praise the Lord? I'm going to ask all of you to be ready. Can somebody praise the Lord? Can somebody praise the Lord? Can somebody praise the Lord? Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Oh, give him praise. Wave your hands and open your mouth up and give God praise. He's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Some of you need to all to be praying with your hands and praising God like you're praising. Somebody need to be shouting and giving God praise like you are praising. You don't care who's watching you. You need God to resurrect something for you. You need God to lift up something for you. You need God to roll away something for you. was willing to touch her and to heal her he unleashed praise God hallelujah the potential that had been bound up in her for 18 years here was a woman that was bent over for 18 long years but her resurrection day came come on somebody I say her resurrection day came How many of you know that he can do the same for you? How many of you know that he can do the same for you? How many of you know that God can resurrect that situation? God can fix it for you. Glory be to God. I know the doctors say that you'll never 
get well. I feel the Holy Ghost in here. I know the doctors say that you'll never get well from that incurable disease. But I stop by to tell you that we serve a resurrected Jesus. That we serve a healing Jesus. That we serve a delivering Jesus. That we serve a providing Jesus. I wish that I had some help in this church. We serve a God that is able to do any and everything for you. Get ready for resurrection. Get ready for freedom. Get ready for deliverance. Get ready for your miracle. Get ready! What God is get ready to do. Oh, my God. 
Hallelujah. Sometimes the enemy, when he see can attack us one way, then he attack us with our own words. Sometimes when the devil see that he can't get you one way, he use your very own words against you. You get up and talking about, I'm broke. Now what the enemy does is intensify the poverty on your life. Come on somebody. He intensify, put on the pressure. Cause you to lose the job. Cause you to get laid off. Cause friction on the job. Cause you to get sick. Come on somebody when you start doubting God. Cause all kind of calamity to come on you. Because his ultimate goal and desire is to destroy you. But Jesus said, I've come that you might have life. Have it. More. Somebody shout more. Can somebody shout more? That we have this more abundantly. God wants to give all of us the more abundant, not just abundant, but the more abundant life through Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So the enemy will do anything. Praise God. Including using your very own words. He will use your strength against you. Sometimes the enemy see that you twist. Uh, your ankle. Or you slip or you pull up the soul. And the enemy will use that to work on you. The enemy will start to cause you to murmur and complain and question God. And then you start to say, I don't think that I'll ever be cured. I don't think I'll ever be healed. I don't think that God will ever touch me. It's the plan of the enemy. I said it's the plan of the enemy. It's the plan of the enemy to get you discouraged. But Jesus is alive and well. I wish I had somebody to celebrate him. Jesus has risen from the grave triumphantly. And he is alive and well. He is not dead in a grave. Oh, they did not steal his body like some would say. Jesus triumphantly. Oh, arose from the grave. Oh, he went down, praise God. And he took the keys. Can somebody help me? He went down, praise God. And he took the keys, praise God. From that old dragon. And he set the captives free. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. And he walked this earth, praise God. And was witnessed by many. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When Mary saw him, and she reached out to say, Oh, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord, Adonai, Master. He said, Do not touch me. He said, You can't touch me yet, because it's not over yet. I gotta go back to the Father. I gotta go back to the Father. I keep down to earth. Can I get a witness in here? I came down to earth uh, to redeem mankind, uh, back on to myself, uh, to save mankind. Uh, uh, and when I went to the cross, uh, uh, and when they buried me, uh, uh, oh, they thought it was finished, uh, but it was finished. Uh, my job on earth was finished, uh, and I wanted them to see uh, that I was alive and well. Uh, I showed them my uh, pierced hands. Uh, when Thomas didn't believe, when doubting Thomas didn't believe, he said, Thomas, son, you can only believe because you see. Well, since you want to see, there is my hand, there is my side. Can I get some help in here? Can I get some help out there? And he said, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive. I'm alive and well. 
relationships, so much pain, so much broken heart, so much hurt, so much rejection, so much ostracization. Sometimes you're right there in the house and it's better you was by yourself. Sometimes husband now nah talk to you and communicate the way that he should. Sometimes wife now nah communicate the way that she should. Sometimes children, this one in that room, the next one in that room, this one over there, so that one over there, so no unity in the home. No unity in the home. You feel discouraged. But I speak into your situation today. God is about to God is about to resurrect. There is something about to happen. Something is about to happen. God is about to rekindle that fire in that marriage. God is about to rekindle the fire. Praise God that the husbands would love their wives again. And that 
wife Would you love husbands and submit to husbands because of the way the husbands treat Sometimes you're bent over, might not be a physical back bent over, but you are bent over with hurt, bent over with pain, bent over with discouragement, bent over with all kinds of issues, and it causing you to feel crippled. God is getting ready to reverse every plan of the enemy. I say God getting ready to reverse every plan of the enemy. Come on somebody. If you had enough force to bend over yourself, God is giving you, this is prophetic right here. If you had enough force and strength to bend over what God is saying,
You need a miracle. You need a miracle. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus said, I'm going to lift you up and out. Hallelujah. He saw the truth in spite of what everyone else was saying. I want you to shout with all you got. Rise up. Come on, say it again. You're talking to yourself, you're not talking to someone. Rise up. religious critics here was a woman bent over for 18 long years with nobody to help her hallelujah glory to God hallelujah because hallelujah oh glory to God hallelujah hallelujah something praise the Lord hallelujah glory to God hallelujah Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The religious critics didn't like what Jesus had done. His power revealed the powerlessness of their own religion. Praise God. Glory be to God. The power of Jesus exposed their weakness. How many of you know religion can't save nobody? Religion can't keep nobody. Everybody raise your hands. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just raise your hands. Somebody want to show, touch me, Lord. Somebody want to show, touch me, Lord. Somebody want to show, touch me, Lord. 